I came from Sekinja Selangor. It is a very beautiful place. It got paddy fields and a lot of delicious seafood. Okay, so Shinje now is in the first part. I would like to ask you some information for yourself. So let us talk about your study first. So what do you study? Um, I study in UPM. The course I take is Doctor of Veterinary Medicine. I'm a third year student now. Um, can I know why did you choose the field of study? I chose Doctor of Veterinary Medicine because I love animals, especially cats and dogs. Um, I like cats and dogs, but my family doesn't allow me to have pets, so I think this is another way for me to approach the animal and having fun with the animals. I like to help the animal so. So, if you have the chance, would you like to change your field of study? If I have the chance, I think I would change the field of study because I like this field and I found that I really enjoy having practicals with my cosmet, my friends, and I think uh, we have a improve our knowledge about animals and we know how's the animal welfare. Okay, so now let us talk about birthdays. Do you usually celebrate birthdays? Yes, I celebrate almost every year with my family or my friends. Uh, what do you do on your last birthday? What do I do on my last birthday? We go Pulau Ketam for holidays. It is a two day, one night trip and we have fun at there. I go there with my friends and I think Pulau Ketam is a very nice place because it is uh, far from the countryside so we can enjoy the simple lifestyle at there and we can appreciate the nature. It is a very beautiful place. The food at there is also very nice, especially seafood. Okay, do most of the people celebrate birthday with a party in your country? Mm, for me, I don't think so because most of my friends and relatives or families around me they don't celebrate their birthday um, in the form of party. They just celebrate their birthday by having a simple dinner or meal with their families and friends and then just by giving some birthday gift and wishes. Okay. After this, let's talk about computers. How often do you use a computer? I think I use computers almost every day. Um, do you prefer desktop or laptops? I prefer laptops because it is very small, light, doesn't occupy space like desktop and I can carry it and go to everywhere. Do you think it is important to learn how to use a computer? I think it is very important for me to know how to use a computer because a uh, computer is very efficient and convenient in doing work especially in this 20th century and I think in the future we might need to use a computer when working. Uh, now I'm going to give you a topic and I'd like you to talk about it for one to two minutes. Before you talk, you have one minute to think about what you are going to say. You can make some notes if you wish. Do you understand? Yes. Here's some paper and pencil. Uh, say some paper and pencil for you to make in your notes. And here is your topic. Please do not write anything on the candidate task cards. Okay. Now you have the one minute to do the. You have the one minute to do the task. Alright, remember you have one to two minutes for this, so don't worry if I stop you. I will tell you when is the time is up. Can you start up? Uh
information we offer. Putra Glass actually offer many information like lecture notes, time tables and course synopsis posted by lecturers and we can know also the, which lecturer is teaching us which subject and the information of the lecturer also. Putra Glass also also let us to submit our assignment via soft copy. Many lecturers like to post the assignment on Putra Blast and it has stated the due date also. So we can complete it before the due date and submit to Putra Blast to soft copy. I think um, Putra Blast submission is very convenient and is economy friendly because we the we need to print out and submit the hard copy. Lecturer can also give the instructions via Putra Blast. Uh, for example, to what kind of lab we have to carry out tomorrow and what is the handout for the lab. So very confused, you think? Now we are going to talk about the part three. Okay. We have been talking about a website you always visit, and now I would like to discuss one of two generations related to this. So let's consider first all, all about the internet. Do you think that all information on the internet is true? Uh, I don't think all the information through the internet is true because sometimes the info is not reliable so we have to retrieve it from the reliable website How has the internet changed the way we live? Um, internet has changed our life, no doubt uh, In this 21st century, we can shopping without hazard like we can shopping in Lazada, Shopee or Eleven Street just a button and you can stay, stay, uh, stay comfortably in home and no need to stay up a step on the bed in, uh, no need to stay, stay up a step I think internet also allow us to communicate with the friends and families through social media we can easily communicate with them and we can improve our relationship so do you think that internet is safe for the children to use uh, unsupervised? no i think uh, because internet got so many information like uh, of the information is no good to the uh, child's mental health and they might don't know and might damage their naive mind so they might also encounter cyberbullying that will affect their mental Okay, let's move on to the topic of social media addiction Is it possible for someone to be addicted to social media? Yes, I think it is possible for people to adapt to the social media, especially young people. They like to update their social media every day. And I think social media will affect, affect the mental health. For example, Instagram, 
is an image posting platform and if you saw the people that you know or might not don't know for having their holidays out or nights out, you might feel anxiety and and depressed like um, you're feeling you not enough in your life or missing out. And this promotes the compare and distress attitudes like looking what some people have and wonder why you doesn't the same. So do you think that what are the dangers of social media um, I think it's privacy issues because in some social media you have to give up your personal information in order to sign up or log in. So uh, this may arrest the stalking issues and people will know all your habits, your likes and dislikes and where are you go and where you stay. So what are the steps to be taken to reduce the amount of time spent on the uh, social media? The step to reduce the amount of time spent in social media, firstly I think you can give yourself a time limit, like you limit yourself how many times you can log into your social media and how long you can stay on your social media. Uh, secondly, I think you can has the rules like make no phone on the table so you won't see your phone you won't have the desire to play this also allows the the people not have, uh, playing phone too often and for example in the dining, dining table you can uh, like, like no foods on the lining table so when you're having breakfast, lunch or dinner you will not um, play with your food by having uh, Thank you very much Cynthia. This is the end of our speaking session. Thank you.